Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on SAP Build Process Automation Training from anubavtrainings.com. In this series of videos, we are learning end-to-end -end SAP Build Process Automation. By far, in this series of videos, we turned about how to create your build subscriptions, how to create your first build process, release and deploy in the cloud, enable the My Inbox app. If you have not seen those videos, kindly check the description of this video to find the link of the playlist. If you are new to the channel, please like, share and subscribe the channel so we can bring in more free content for you like this in the future. With that, in today's session, we will learn how to start and test your build process from a tool called Postman as an external user and then see if the process generates a work item at runtime for our user or not. So let's get started with the Postman tool. And here we add a request. I will also export this Postman collection from here and share it as part of study material with all of you so you all can practice this so i go to create a post request and i will go to control tower to see the call so let's go back to sap bpa trigger section in the control tower to see our api to call you can also take the api from api hub both are same things yeah so there in api hub you can see documentation and here you can see exact call so let's view that and i can just copy the copy the call it's a post call and if i go to body raw payload json type i will pass my payload so this is the sales order data which is the context what we need so i will be passing some context here order number let's say 10000456 yeah and then i will pass order type as standard order in sales order so later on maybe this information come from s4 hana in your company so sales organization 1010 distribution channel and division 01 and 10 1010 and sold to party is let's say anubhav yeah. order date 2025 december 2nd and net amount is 500 euros and customer group is grp1 yeah. that is my data and you see the id of our exact process so my data center us10 my btp trial account name my project name dot my business process name under that project wow this is how the id is built so all this information we will pass and we trigger but of course you will get failure why because no security right now right so when i call it's trying to contact, but you see, expected a CSRF token, which is not found. So it is expecting you to authenticate yourself. It needs to know who you are. It doesn't know right now. So nobody can unsecurely call it. You see, forbidden. Yeah, nobody can. It is prohibited. You are neither authenticated nor authorized. Yeah. So first, we need to obtain the JOT token. And there is a very special way of obtaining JOT token. So we can head over back to our BTP account. And once again, go back to the same place where we saw the service key in the last class because that has confidential detail to contact the BP runtime service. And that BP runtime service then give you access to the API. So we will obtain the confidential sensitive details from my service key to obtain the JOT token. So we can come back again and view the service key. And this time I'm going to go in the form mode to see that so we come down and we first take this url copy that so that's the address of your uaa service yeah the uaa component in the btp to obtain the token so i can come back to authorization choose your something called uh, oauth 2.0 and we can choose available tokens type here bearer b-e-a-r-e-r -E -E -R, and then you can give a name here so i will give a name called pushpa yes so flower some jk yeah so i just have some fun with programming so just give some name yeah pushpa and i will choose password credentials here i will pass the access token url i copy this and i prefix this with slash oauth slash token so i pass that slash oauth 
slash token hey computer hey access you i request you i urge you can you please give me the token yeah can you please give me the token so i do that then i pass the client id yes the client id so here it is just copy that client id and then i will pass the client secret pass that then come back to enter my btp account detail so what is my btp user id always go back here and you can see here on the top anubav.abap at gmail.com that's my official btp id and then i will enter my btp password yes so that's very secure yeah okay cool and then send client uh, credentials in body good nothing else and it's good we can obtain the token so what we are doing in step one look at the diagram so i am as a developer using the postman tool to go to access uaa first to obtain a jot token yeah that's a i'm going to security guard and obtaining the id card so that i can call this api because i was trying to somehow bypass and you know enter in the company security guard stopped me so i have to first get an id card that's the jot token and then take this jot token present it along with my ap call yeah so that is what postman tool does pretty well pretty well so let's come down and click call get the auth token bahala you can proceed and this is the jot token look at that yeah look at that cool now and i say use the jot token i'm using it and then i'm just going to take the jot token so what we do here is we go to the postman tool we pass the api which we got from sap business api hub we obtain a jot token from access uaa component by passing all the details from the service key of my bp runtime instance and then in the body i will pass the payload to call my sap btp workflow yeah this is the sap btp process it's the sub account uh, data center us10 yeah then the account sub account id the project name dot the process name in the project with the payload which is needed to start my business process yeah i will just do that i've obtained the token already and you can also see the jot token i just click on this and it obtains the jot token for us you can view the jot token json web token and then we can just go back and and this time trigger the call so last time when i was calling it was giving me an error and i click on send and let's see what happens this time wahala so the given data does not comply with interface schema so there is some problem with the data which we give so the activity start event cannot be completed because there is a issue with uh, the sales order date value must be a valid date so the date format is wrong so let me pass yyyy dash mm dash dd let's try that one trigger again so it tells you the issue also and wahala there you go you can see a work work workflow or a business process instance is created so as per the diagram as I explained to you a instance is now created which means straight ahead if i go back to my inbox application i should be seeing a sales order approval form so now since we executed our our work, work process from the postman tool and it would have got uh, executed and it has created a work item to test it we come back to the lobby and here we have this button on the top right corner called my inbox i click on that and that opens the my inbox application and since i am the recipient of the work item you can see i've got a request for approval of a sales order with exact sales order number along with the sales organization distribution channel amount date everything i've got here and now what i'm going to do is just accept the terms and condition and say uh, congratulations to anubhav trainings for this amazing order cool and then i accept it and you know once i accept this would then proceed further my process will proceed further and that will send an approval notification back to myself because even for the approval form i was the one who was the recipient there so i will receive back the approval form as well uh, as a as a recipient i myself am, i'm going to get it you can see the approval form has come 
it got approved and then finally i will just say submit and that will conclude my business process completion and later on in the coming episode i will also show you the concept of troubleshooting so that comes to the end of our today's episode i hope you enjoyed the end to end process of testing your business process from the postman tool and utilizing same to uh, trigger from the postman tool and testing the same as a workaround from the my inbox application thank you once again for joining the session and i'll see you in the next episode